Hey, you say, you too? This is your boy, John Schaff. I'd like to welcome you guys back to another episode of my C7 Corvette channel. As you can see, it looks like I might hit the dealership again. And unfortunately, there's no new Corvette that has come in. These vehicles seem to be selling kind of slow than what they did when they uh, first come out. Everybody was afraid of really not having enough to fulfill the market. But since the market has took a, uh, took a dive of a uh, cooling off uh, phase, uh, you get some people that even had these C8s for six months to a year, they, turn it back in. And maybe because they uh, ordered a, a Z06 or they just uh, decided they didn't want to uh, you know, continue ownership of these uh, beautiful vehicles. Whatever the case may be, I don't, I don't understand how you could uh, how you could get such get rid of such of a uh, such, such a magnificent vehicle. Uh, this is a 2021 C8 convertible, misty red, a red mist in color. Has the side skirts on it. Front front splitter. Even though the front splitter has a little damage to the right side of it. Just a little bit. I'm quite sure they'll fix it though if you if you bring that to their attention. I'm quite sure they ain't saying it. You got little chips on the front. Interior sky cool gray. Let me let me check down the camera for a minute and find out how much it costs. Okay, this particular model is uh, eighty-five thousand nine hundred and eighty-eight dollars. Eighty-five thousand nine hundred and eighty-eight dollars. Got a high green sport on. This here is a magnificent. Magnificent beauty. This is a Corvette of Carlisle Weekend, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it this year. But I got some buddy of mine that's going to send me some, uh, some footage. So as soon as they send me some footage, I would upload it on to jump. And unfortunately, the, uh, the big three automakers are thinking about going on a strike. I don't know if you any of you have heard of, heard of that. they do that's going that's going to put a damper on uh, already a crippling uh, economy and, and, and 
especially the uh, manufacturing part of it. You, know, man, you, you want it, uh, you, uh, you order a uh, C8, whether it be a base model or Z51 or Z06, uh, that's going to that's uh, put a damper in your plans. Hopefully, it won't come down to that. You know, the UWA, they uh, try to look out for the workers and make sure they are being uh, paid uh, fairly and equally to what they are. Uh, what their values are, but uh, you know, hopefully it won't come down to a strike. But if it does, it's just something that we have to deal with. And that's gonna, if it does, then it's going to put off the uh, put off you getting the getting one of these vehicles in a while. As I can tell you, it has it's it's really slowed down uh, when it comes to the production of these vehicles. Now you have a lot of them that already has been manufactured sitting on the uh, on the plant lot but they just they haven't been able to get them out to the uh to the dealership the trucking industry and stuff is suffering too and they can't find any good carriers they just had a whole bunch of carriers but still yeah, seen that things are seen that things are in limbo or something i i, I don't understand beyond which i like it better when it's Republican president is in office than a, than a Democrat. Well, ain't no new cars I don't get. I don't think I need to show you the one that. Show you the one that's still here. In case you're interested. That's a base model C7 here. It's basically what I have. I have a base model C7, sharp gray. I have a 2016 model. This is 2016. This is all. This is all a minute. this camera. Walk on down. We got a couple more CH down here. That's left. Not many. They are selling, just selling kind of slow. But if you don't, if you miss out on this round, I'm quite sure we we'll, we we'll have some more the next round. You know, it was, it was. Uh, I think it was seven to ten. Just on this row here. So we just there's three on this row left and. At, at, at one I just uh, showed you that uh, that uh, convertible, so that's four uh, CH still left. And this particular model here is a uh, convertible, white, natural interior. This bad boy here is ninety-five thousand dollars.
Yeah, it's 95,000 some change. I think this one is uh, like 85 or either 87 or something, something like that. This is 2023 models and one EOT. Has uh, 1,569 miles on it. Seals of flare, metallic, metallic, is in a color. Again, it's 2023 and it's a L, LT. This one has 8,932 8, miles on it. It's a C6, it's a Grand Sport. It's a 2012 model. This is this was the model I was originally trying to get. Before I ran up on, on the one that I got, which is a C7. I was actually looking at a model like this. And this is actually a, a Z16 uh, Grand Sports, uh, and it's a, a 3LT. And it is a automatic. Might be able to get this one on the fifty thousand. And I do believe this this one is around eighty five or eighty seven, uh, eighty seven thousand, eighty seven thousand some change or something like that. Uh, 85,000 some change is one of them. I do believe this is a uh, see I think it's a 2022. Oh uh, this is a 2020 model. And it's a 3 LT. I've been fighting roof. Those are you that are into the Ford. That's a, a Shelby, a Shelby Mustang. Uh, four man myself. Yeah, that guy's got a hold on me. I gotta get this squared out of my eyes. And last but not least, this is Grand Sports is still here. It's a, it's a uh, C7 Grand Sports.
a magnificent vehicle, 2019 2LT. Has 19,464 miles on. And this is another C7, very small thing, right? Two thousand eighteen model. Oh man it last but not least the grand sports. Two thousand seventeen model. You know, something about the something about the silver color, man. It just don't do anything, anything for me. And it is an automatic black interior. If I got this man, I had to definitely change this color.
Well, I hope those of you that are able to get out to the, uh, or get up to the, uh, big Corvette show in Carlisle. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I know today is going to be the final finale of, uh, a big Corvette show. It usually ends in a big Corvette show, uh, going through downtown to the streets of Carlisle, Pennsylvania. And it is a sight to see. I was hoping I would get up there this year myself and join in on these festivities. But uh, unfortunately, I was not able to do that. But as always, uh, next year, I'm John Shaft. Thank you guys for tuning in to my channel. As you hit the like button, share button, subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification button so you will know when I am doing a upload. And yes, it is hot out here. These two bad boy in the shop. They like to buy the shop. I like they even fixed that one. I remember that one, that one came in, boy. It was towed up. They did a nice job, huh? So I'll go ahead and look at it. Yeah, they didn't fix it. I can't. I can't remember whether it's the front tour up or the back. <laughs> they did such a good job on it. <laughs> I guess I only haven't picked it up yet. Obviously, he got some white, white wall, white leather tires on it. You guys on these C7 or old, older model vehicles, you can take these cars, man, through the car wash. You know, you get yourself one of those uh, cop clubs uh, deal, like what I had. That goes about forty dollars a month. Mine was about forty dollars a month, and you get your car washer up to uh, 90, 99 times that month. And uh, it's a good deal. Uh, I just uh, you, know, you get your car washed up to 99 times a month. You can get your car wash, uh, uh, wash every. I mean, get your, get your car wash, get your car wash three times of uh, three times a day. And uh, that wasn't that wasn't even equal to. Uh, 99 times a month So you guys, you know, you want to get you one of these cars, man. You want to keep them clean No, you don't want to do it yourself Now if you got a C8 Now These these high uh, These high uh, 
high spring, high sprung, whatever you want to call it, car washes. They ain't for a C8. You can actually drown your drown your engine out. I've seen some people. I've seen some people that has taken theirs through it and uh, come out okay. But uh, believe me, uh, man, they engine bay was flooded. All that water in the engine bay and all that kind of stuff. On your C8, man, you know, you go right ahead. Other than that, other than that, you just need to wash your baby by hand yourself. Which shouldn't be a problem for most of you. But most of you don't even drive the vehicle. And uh, you, most of you don't even use your vehicle for uh, a daily driver anyway. So, you know, you wash it and uh, put it in uh, put it in the garage. Uh, if you, you know, if you don't have a garage, put a, a car cover. Uh, a car cover on it. You can get yourself a good car cover. About $450. Uh, this mother fit the Corvette. Uh, yeah, but you you know you can you can wash it by hand. You know, you, if you're not if, if not you know you have a teenage uh, teenage son or, or even a daughter. You know, she like to take care of stuff for you. You can get them to wash it for you. But you you don't want to take your car through a car wash, man. You got C8. Now there are all things you can do. In my opinion. If you have a C8, you just you just got to take the car wash. And one thing you can get a top, not top, but top, T A R P. And uh, you can open that uh, that engine bay up and put that top all over that engine, then shut it back down, and then go do the car wash. And then that top will reflect a lot of that water, you know, from getting into that uh, into that engine bay. That's one way. One way I do it, I get yourself some, some thick, thick plastic, and uh, cause, you know you ain't gonna have it. You ain't gonna have it on there that long, just long enough uh, to go through a car wash, you know. Then again, you get to check. Then again, you get to check your local car wash to see if a Corvette can uh, can actually go through that. Some can, some can't. So you know, it just all depends. Excuse me, boy. This is hot out of here, boy. What? Well, that's how I was saying. You know, some car washes, man, you can go through with a Corvette, and some of them you can't. Whether you have a C8 or a C7 or even a, a old model, because you know you got to realize, uh, you know, the Corvette man has a. Uh, has some humongous tires on it. And uh most car washes, man, they are they are only designed to fit a normal uh, normal vehicle, normal tire on a normal normal vehicle. And it's not for the Corvette, you know, Corvette, you know, even a even a base model Corvette, which is what I have. Uh the tires are like two or three times uh, larger than the uh, than a standard, uh, you know, uh, four wheel, you know, regular car. Uh, so yeah, you just have to check your local uh, car wash, and they, they tell you whether or not it can go through or not. I, I had one. I used, to, I used to frequent some all the time, and uh, I actually carried it. I, I used to get my wash every day uh, when it was running. I washed it every day. Cause I had that, uh, the car wash special where I paid uh, like forty or some dollars a month. Like I said, you can get it. You can get it washed uh, 99 times a, a month, and uh, you know you can you can get it washed three times a day, and you won't even get to uh, you won't even get to 99 times a month. So that's a good deal. Other than that, uh, 
had I not done that, man, it'd have been like, it would have been like probably around thirty-eight to forty dollars. Got the service I used to get uh, each time I went in there. So I saved myself a, a, a tremendous, tremendous amount of money. And I think they offer that uh, particular program for uh, uh, you know for their patrons, uh, you know, because you know car wash is a it's a seasonal business, so it, it helps them to balance out their books. So when the bad time comes, like bad weather, uh, raining and stuff like that, and they have to be closed, and you know, everybody won't come wash no car in the rain or any day. So it helped them to, uh, you know, uh, already have that money, uh, uh, already had that money in place. Oh, boy. Now, like I said, I hope you guys that, 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 was, that was able to get out to the, uh, to the Corvette. Um, the Corvette show in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. I, I sure was looking forward to it, but uh, unfortunately, I was not able to make it uh, this time around. I seen, I seen some footage of some, some guys on uh, on YouTube that uh, that's up there now, and uh, I mean, I tell you, they, I, they had a good time. Them guys, man, it was, it was hot out there, man. Them guys were squinting, man. You think I'm squinting, man? Them guys look, they look, they look. They looked a ten times worse than me. <laughs> Boy, I feel sorry for him. <laughs> Woo! Boy, it got to be the hottest summer on, on uh, in the history books. Well, hopefully next time, uh, uh, hopefully I'll be able to go next year. I'm still still trying to get up to the Corvette Museum one more time before, uh, before the weather uh, turned bad. I'm John Schaff. I thank you guys for tuning in to my channel. I ask you to hit the like button, share button, and subscribe. And I'll see you again in the next video upload. Thank you for watching.